Oh my goodness, talk about striking gold with a hotel. How amazing is this place? So we're going to be staying in one of those bubbles. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh wow. Oh wow. As we're walking, a lot of people are offering us donkey rides, camel rides, horse rides. I personally don't want to because I've seen the animals and I don't think that they're very well looked after. It's just a personal thing. I love animals, I love horse riding, but I just think I prefer to walk it. Also, you just get to take it all in. And we've picked up so many cute little fairy friends, haven't we? <laughs> Literally, we just had a dog with us the entire way. Yes, I have been feeding them biscuits, but that's besides the point. So we paid 50 JDs, so Jordanian dinars, to come into the park. Now we're just walking all the way through to the main event. But even just walking through here, it's amazing. I feel like I'm back in Indian Canyon, or actually, no. It feels like being back in Utah and going underground. It's amazing, the colors are just unreal. We did actually set our alarm to get here for half past six, but we're here at half past seven and it's still not that busy. This is so cute. One of the guys just told the dog to wait and he's going to look in all the bins for food. Ah, yeah. that's warmed my heart a lot, especially after seeing all of these donkey rides. That is so sweet. So this is of course the main event, the reason why most people come through. And this was about, well for us, like a 10 minute walk through what felt like the canyons. And there's an even bigger one, the monastery, which we're going to walk to because why not, but it is amazing. It's one of these things as well, you see it in um, all the guidebooks and you see it on Instagram and whatnot and you think, oh it's not, you know, you get there and it's quite underwhelming but it's not, it's amazing. We just took some pictures. And I think we're going to walk to the top now so you can actually sit above there and like look down on it. Looks amazing. Okay, so we didn't get an official guide, but we have decided to go with a member of a Bedouin tribe um, to just see Petra a little bit differently. So we're going to be walking up a shortcut to get to the view and then we're going to be walking through to the monastery, past the table of sacrifice. 
don't quote me on all of these uh, particular sites just yet. I'll put a little blip on the screen every time we're out somewhere in particular. But it's cost us 60 Jordanian dirhams. Mems and I though, we're quite, when we travel, like we do haggle just by nature, but also we're very aware that we're giving to their culture and yes you might think it's a scam and you might be able to get it cheaper but for us it's like well if we can give them you know 60 of their currency then they've done well for the day so that's the way we see it when we travel and we're quite happy to barter a little bit but then also you know we want the experience and they've had the the gall to come up to us so we don't mind we're quite happy to pay that but I'm sure you could get it cheaper if you tried oh yeah now the tough bit is the sun's come out Wish us luck. I don't think there's more than we can do. How come you think that I still owe you anything? <sighs> this is not a climb to the faint hearted. I am a loving life, but this is crazy. <sighs> Absolutely mental. Just legit rock climbing. There's not one proper stair here. We're just like scaling up the wall. But this one takes 15 minutes and the other one takes two hours, so. Risk your life, why not? This is amazing. You know what's quite nice as well as coming up to the Bedouin tennis, you've got this lovely little rug to sit on, so definitely glad we did it. Ah. Another viewpoint, this time over the tombs. Oh, this is some trek. Incredible though, it really puts into perspective the city as well. It's massive. Amazing. So cool. So cute. <laughs> so basically, along the way, you just come up to all these little Bedouin tents, which is amazing because it means you get a rest from the sun if you're trekking in the day, of course. Um, and also you can have a drink. So, and also it just makes for a cute little insight into local culture. And then we just found some puppies. <laughs> Where are you off to, you little guy? And we just keep turning corners and everything is so gorgeous. Look at the colors in this rock. Wow. This is madness. I keep jumping in between my phone and my camera, by the way, if you're wondering why it suddenly changes quality or the way I look or the light or whatever it is, but it's a tough trek, so <laughs> jumping in and out of my bag to get my camera. Oh my goodness, I couldn't recommend this more. This is amazing. Also, we're here in October. I don't know when I'll actually get the vlog up, but we're here in October, so the weather's not too unbearable. We're just gearing up to midday now, and it's actually, it's not so bad. <sighs> this is just amazing. Look at these two, thick as thieves. I am so glad we took the chance and came on this hike with a guide, a Bedouin guide, because I've seen so many pictures of Petra, so many videos, I've never seen anything like this. This is like a whole other world. Now you definitely have to be a bit of a daredevil because it is not an easy hike, but it's so worth it. And wear sturdy shoes. I've got full on hiking boots on and I'm so glad. <laughs> this view is just ridiculous. I'm just going to flip the camera. This is uh, your lucky Yeah? I just changed into a dress because I was so hot. Always come prepared. Um, we're not going to go to the monastery because it's a four hour walk and it's already midday, it's really hot, but 
the echo. But I'm really glad that we didn't because going up into the mountains and seeing everything from above was just insane. And it's nothing I've seen before, so hopefully it gives you a little bit more of an insight if you've seen other Petra vlogs. Maybe they went to the monastery, but we just decided to go up above instead. This place is crazy. Whole other world. Definitely come early though. It's a bit unbearable now. And this is October. Can you imagine if you come in summer? This is why I refuse to ride donkeys, guys. Some poor chaps. No, no. At least these guys are in the shade, no, I'm okay. which is more I can say for most of them. Oh, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. So we just had another yummy breakfast. That's where you have your breakfast. Those are the two big domes. This hotel is just amazing. Yesterday I was very busy and getting up early and heading out to Petra, which was, well, I say Petra. We're technically in Petra, but heading out to the ancient city that I didn't tell you about the amazing night sleep that we had. The bubbles, even though they're plastic, when it's dark, you can see all of the stars. So you're sleeping. First of all, the bed is so ridiculously comfy, like crazy comfy, like marshmallow, it's amazing. And then you have this dome of stars above you. And where you've got the scalloped edge, where the, I guess the privacy side comes in to your dome, it kind of, almost makes this beautiful blanket for the stars. I'm not doing a very good job at describing this. I hope I do a better job on my blog, which I'll be writing about this hotel, of course, clutchandcarryon.com, plug. Um, but yeah, it was just amazing. It was like being in a Bedouin tent, but obviously we had the comfort and the heat of being inside our globe. It was amazing. I'm just loving waking up here. I wish I could stay here for more nights. This is what it looks like, by the way, when the sun is rising over the mountains. It's just, oh, incredible. So pretty, so pretty. And I think we're actually one of the first group of people to stay here. Um, it's actually technically not properly open. This is like a soft launch, so next month it will open properly. So it's only gonna get busier and busier, well, I think. It is absolutely a gimmick to stay in a bubble, but the way they've done this hotel is perfect. Like everything's been amazing. And the service has been, oh, so good. There's a private driver to take you whenever you want to go. The food has been amazing. And I did quickly just do a scan of the uh, buffet for you last night. It's a very small buffet, but every single thing that I had was amazing. I'm just walking up the steps now, hence the dun, 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 dun. But yeah, absolutely love it. Blown away. Would highly, highly, highly recommend. Back at my bubble now. We're gonna get ready because we're driving back all the way up. Um, another three and a half hour drive to Ma'in Hot Springs. We've really done as much as we can in this trip, but I love it that way and we love it that way and we're just up with the sun and down with it. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get changed now. Back in my bubble. Bye bubble.